Hello again, friends. Here's a clear comparison of time lapse, hyper lapse, slow motion, and regular video, focusing on their key differences. The key differences between time lapse, hyper lapse, slow motion, and regular video lie in how time and motion are manipulated during filming. Time lapse involves capturing video at a much slower frame rate than normal, usually by taking a single frame at intervals, for example, one frame every few seconds or minutes. When played back at standard speed, this creates the effect of time speeding up, making slow processes like a sunset or the movement of clouds appear to happen quickly. Hyperlapse is a variation of time lapse but with the added element of camera movement. In this technique, the camera is moved over a distance, for example, walking or driving, while still capturing frames at a slower rate. This results in a dynamic, accelerated effect of time passing while the camera travels through space, creating a sense of movement and speed along with the time compression. In contrast, slow motion works by capturing video at a much higher frame rate than normal, for example, 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second, which allows fast action, like a soccer player kicking a ball or a car crashing, to be shown in great detail when played back at a standard frame rate, for example, 24 frames per second. This technique makes time appear to slow down revealing fine details that are too quick to see in real time. Lastly, regular video refers to standard footage captured and played back at normal speed, typically at frame rates like 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, without any time manipulation. It captures real-time motion as we experience it naturally, making it the most common form of video used in movies, TV, and everyday content. Thank you again for watching. Take care, everyone.